Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The, uh, the right of free speech is a, is a great right that we have in this country. Very few times we use it to expose our, our theological or religious beliefs, but we do have members of the clergy here as members of the panel. So I want to start with um, Genesis 8, um, verse 21 and uh, 22. Never again will I curse the ground because of man, even though every inclination of his heart is evil from childhood, and never again will I destroy all living creatures as I have done. As long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night will never cease. I believe that's the infallible word of God, and that's the way it's going to be for his creation. The second verse comes from Matthew 24. And he will send his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds from one end of the heavens to the other. The earth will end only when God declares it's time to be over. Uh, man will not destroy this earth. This earth will not be destroyed by a flood. Um, and I appreciate having panelists here who are men of faith, and we can get into the theological discourse of, of that position, but I do believe God's word is infallible, unchanging, perfect. Uh, two other issues, Mr. Chairman. Today we have about 388 parts per million in the atmosphere. I think in the age of the dinosaurs where we had most flora and fauna, we were probably at 4,000 parts per million. There is a theological debate that this is a carbon star planet, not too much carbon. And the cost of a cap and trade on the poor is now being discovered. These miners lost their jobs through the last, and Mr. Chairman, we talked about this job loss. I've got an IDNR report, Illinois Department of Natural Resources, that points to four mines that were closed specifically because of the Clean Air Act amendments in 1990. I'm gonna share those with you later because we did have that discussion and I do appreciate that. Appreciate the hearing uh, and I look forward to the questions. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.